That's coming up tomorrow night. Now, the upset win has put UD squarely in the national spotlight, and right now it is certainly what is working in Dayton. Alexa Ashwell is working for you with what this positive exposure means for the entire university. Mark, the win prompted me to buy this March Madness t-shirt along with hundreds of other people. Dayton advancing in the NCAA tournament is leading to a spike in local sales and interest in the University of Dayton. The bright, sunny spring day matched the mood of students on the University of Dayton's campus. The day after its men's basketball team's monumental win against OSU to advance in the NCAA tournament. Best game I've ever been to. UD senior Ben Heigl just got back from Buffalo. He had to work here at Flyer Spirit today, a campus apparel store that's never been busier. My daughter is a UD fan. She's seven and she goes to Incarnation and so they definitely root for UD. <laughs> Yesterday after they won, um, we had sales almost every two minutes of NCAA uh, tournament shirts. But it's not just a boost in local sales that has Flyer fans on fire. It's the national attention on the university right now. The exposure is so great, it caused UD's official Twitter page to crash after the win. Yeah, yesterday, basically, our total maxed out and crashed. Uh, we had 10 million uh, impressions pretty much from a one day event. Sundar Kumarasamy oversees all marketing, communication, and admissions for the university. He was also ecstatic to see UD on the front page of the Wall Street Journal. This, he says, will lead to international exposure, increased enrollment, and support. The kids who are watching their family uh, celebrate uh, Flyer successes today are going to be talking and telling stories about their experience, and that's how it creates a new generation of Flyers. UD tells me it believes this ripple effect will continue for years, if not generations, no matter Saturday's outcome. Alexa Ashwell, 2 News, working for you.